Algebra 1, 6.2d, factoring completely the difference of two squares. So we've been talking a lot about the differences of two squares. This is the last of the four videos that we talked about it. And there'll be links to the other three in this description. After we factor the difference of two squares, sometimes we can keep factoring. Factoring completely means we keep factoring until we can't factor anymore, besides having one as a common factor. So take a look at this one. We've got 1 minus 16a to the 12th. Well, 1 times 1 is 1, so that's 1 squared. And what times what would be 16a to the 12th? Well, 4 times 4 would be the 16, and the product rule of exponents says we add the exponents, so that would be a 6 plus a 6 to get us to that 12, wouldn't it? So we'd have 4a to the 6 squared. When we find the difference of the two squares, when we factor it as a difference of the two squares, we end up with 1 minus 4a to the 6 and 1 plus 4a to the 6. And because this has a minus sign, we can factor it as the difference of two squares again. This would be 1 squared, right? And that would, what would, times what would make a 4a squared? 2a to the third, wouldn't it? If we do 2a to the third power times 2a to the third power, that would give us that. So we can do it again with this one because there's a minus sign here and we could do the difference of two squares. And this guy just kind of comes along for the ride, doesn't he? Because he's got a plus sign, so he can't be the difference, can he? When we do this one, we end up with 1 plus 2a to the third, 1 minus 2a to the third, and then we drop down this guy. See? We ask ourselves, is there still a binomial with a minus sign that can be factored as a difference of two squares? Well, there's the one with the minus sign. Nope. We can't factor that anymore, can we? So we're done. All right? Let's look at a different one. Now we've got 16x to the fourth power minus y to the eighth. So... What times what could be 16 to the fourth? Well, 4 times 4 is 16, and because of the product rule of exponents, as we add the exponents, we'd have x squared times x squared, wouldn't we? Because those the 2 and the 2 would make a 4. So we got 4x squared to the second power. And what times what would make y to the eighth? Well, y to the fourth, right? So now we write it as 4x squared plus y to the fourth, 4x squared, y minus y to the fourth. See? It's the difference of the two sums. But look, this one's got a minus sign, so we could do it again. So this guy's going to go along for the ride, right? Because he has a plus sign, so he can't be factored as the difference of two squares. So he's just kind of going along for the ride. And then the ones in the blue brackets and parentheses are the ones that we're going to factor again. So what times what could be 4x squared? Well, 2x. 2x times 2x is 4x squared, right? And what times what could be a negative y to the fourth? We could do y squared, right? Times y squared, that'll give us y to the fourth. So now we write it as 2x minus y squared and 2x plus y squared. See? We did it a couple times, didn't we? We ask ourselves, is there still a binomial with a minus sign that can be factored as the difference of two squares? Maybe we could do it again. Nope, we're down to a 2. So we're finished, see? We don't have any more squares to deal with. Now, when we factor, it's the opposite of multiplication by factoring an expression and then multiplying the factors to return to the original expression. So here's factoring. This is what we just did. If we have x to the 4th minus y to the 4th, we could do x squared times x squared to get this x to the 4th, couldn't we? And we could do y squared times y squared to get this y to the fourth, right? And when we write it as a difference of two squares, we would get x squared plus y squared and x squared minus y squared. And now look, we've got a, a minus sign here, so we could do it again, couldn't we? This could turn into x minus y, x plus y, couldn't it? And then this would be factored. And then this guy would just come along for the ride, wouldn't he? Well, that's the complete opposite of taking this factored, finished expression here and doing multiplication. We would do FOIL and multiply these times these, and we'd end up with x squared plus xy minus xy minus y, to y squared, see, when we do FOIL. 
we combine like terms, so these end up canceling each other out as zero pairs, right? Plus xy minus xy. So we end up with x squared minus y squared for these parentheses right here. And then we drop this down and we FOIL again. And we end up getting this negative x squared y squared plus x squared y squared to cancel out as zero pairs. And we end up with x to the fourth minus y to the fourth. Well, that's the original expression that we started off with, see? So factoring is the opposite of multiplication by factoring. See that? So remember, there's two conditions we need to factor the differences of two squares. It must have two terms that are both squares, and the second term must have a different sign. So the first term could be a negative, as long as the second one's a positive, okay? So don't think it's just always got to have a minus sign there. It could be a plus sign here if there's a minus sign in front of that first one, okay? So if you want to know about factoring the difference of differences of two sums, or I did construction paper modeling the difference of two squares. I'm sorry, the difference of two squares. This is a must-see if you haven't seen it. And to recognize the difference of two squares, to just look at it and know that that's what it is, or if you want to go back to factoring monomials or binomials, which are really helpful, all these links will be in the description of this video, okay? So just remember the two conditions, all right? You got to have two terms that are both squares, and the second term has to have a different sign than the first term. That's all. All right? We're going to move on to our next unit. We're going to talk about trinomial squares. If this video was helpful and you liked it, hit the like button. Okay? I'll see you. Bye.